me and the rest of you. Yeah. I had several things on my mind this morning in case the, I was asked to come forward. And sometimes when you get too much on your mind, you you don't know what to what to uh, choose. But I've been trusting in the Lord a pretty good while now, and He He's always guided me in the way that I should go. And that includes being up here and uh, sitting there, and I. Said, Showing there that day, and you know, uh, 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 
and the, the man told uh, 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 man uh, 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 Jesus went to him and asked him uh, uh, what can I do for you oh my goodness what can I do for you today uh, what can he do for you today he can do the same thing uh, uh, that he done for that man today uh, 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 he said uh, uh, Lord that I may see, see uh, I receive my sight Ah, here he is calling him Lord and asking him. He wasn't wanting the riches of this world, but he wanted to be able to see. And you know, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And you know, uh, uh, the Bible says that Jesus uh, 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 spit on the ground into the dirt uh, 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 and began to make uh, uh, what the old old time brothers used to call I say. He began to stir that uh, uh, spittle in, in that dirt uh, and, and took it and anointed that man's eyes. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, that didn't seem like much of a cure, did it? That didn't seem like a very powerful medicine today uh, to cure somebody of blindness. And it wasn't. It didn't cure him of blindness. It didn't cure him of anything today. But what it done today, it gave that man an opportunity. It gave him an opportunity to do what Jesus told him to do today. He gave him an opportunity to be obedient to the Word today. And there he is. He's never seen Jesus. And I don't know, have you ever heard of him uh, from that day before? Uh, uh, the Lord been Jesus today. Uh, uh, but I tell you, uh, 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 and the Bible says that uh, that man went he, he, he obeyed what Jesus told him to do. And he went to the pool of Salaam. That's where Jesus told him exactly where he told him to go. And exactly, he done exactly what Jesus told him to do. Wash your eyes in that pool. Wash it in there today. And you know, a uh, man must have had a little faith today. Uh, here he is, a man that couldn't see, uh, uh, that, that he didn't know. Uh, I was, was out there and met him out there on that road and told him to do something that didn't make a bit of sense as far as curing you today. But you know, the man obeyed him. And he went out there. Uh, and he washed in that uh, and, and you see uh, uh, one of God's miracles touched his life today we've seen him in here time after time after time we've seen God uh, miracles done uh, perform right in this little church here we've had brothers and sisters family and friends today that God has touched their lives and it's been a miracle today Amen, no ram or rhyme or reason didn't seem like there was much hope for him. Yeah. But now I'll tell you, uh, when you got Jesus, you've got hope today. Right. And you know, that man came back. Uh, and, and my goodness, uh, all right, his friends, his, his family, uh, his neighbors, uh, they were all amazed today. Uh, 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 you know, I can understand that. Uh, uh, I'm still amazed today at what he's done in my life today. Uh, I'm still amazed at the way he touched my life, the way he changed my life. It's an amazing thing. It's never, it, it, it never gets old. No. Uh, uh, and yeah, it, it, it's always, it's always something great that he does for you today. You know, sometimes he may take that old stick to you today, but it's still for your benefit, still for my benefit, it's still for all of us to benefit today. Uh, uh, that, 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 that through that way he chooses, he'll still enrich our lives today. And you know, the Bible says that when that man came back to all his neighbors and friends, and men of the day, all I'm saying is, is not this. Is not this the man that sat there and bagged the bombs every day? Is this not him today? Uh, and some said, well, it looks like him. Uh, yeah, it looks like him. And some said, well, it is him today. You see, they didn't know. Uh, you know, when Jesus 
weakness test to somebody's life today. Some, some will uh, uh, agree with them. Some say, yeah, I believe you did. And some will say, I don't know. I don't know today. Uh, but this man, uh, uh, some knew that he done it. And you know, uh, uh, the Bible says that, uh, that they went and told uh, 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 they went and told the Pharisees. Boy, I tell you, you talk about a tough month uh, uh, in the Bible. That was a tough month that there at uh, that synagogue uh, where, uh, where they took him today. And you know, they begin to question that man. And you know, they begin to ask him. Uh, 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 tell us about that. Uh, Today, uh, uh, what he done today, and that young man said he began to tell him. Well, he took, he told me, uh, he, he, he put spittle on my eyes and told me to go, told me to go wash in that pool, and I went. Uh, and when, uh, and when I came back, uh, when I left there, there was a great change in my life. I could see. Boy, I tell you, I can see. Once, once he opens your eyes, you can see. You know, I've often wondered many a time about uh, uh, all these little church buildings uh, uh, that you drive by today. Uh, uh, you know, uh, how many people are, are fooled about how, what they think about it? I drive by them back years ago, and I'd say, "There's a church. Uh, this is a church. There's another church." Uh, but this, uh, this building sitting here, when you drive by it out there, and not nobody hear anything, it's a building. It's not the church today. Today, this is the church today. Uh, it, it's where God's children has gathered together uh, uh, to give Him honor and glory today. It's, it's the time that He's brought us together uh, to fellowship one another. It's the time that He's given us peace in our life, brother Betty, to come uh, and let us enjoy, enjoy our salvation for a short for a period of time. Uh, uh, we can do that here today. Uh, uh, and you know, uh, some of the sweetest moments I've had in my life uh, uh, when I pulled out of this parking lot and I said, Lord, it's good that we've been there today. It's good that we were able to get in there today. Especially when you've got somebody that turns their life over to the Lord. That makes it manifest. They've already turned it over. But when they let us be, uh, uh, when they let us be part of it, uh, uh, when they include us in it, what great joy! Then you can understand that scripture about there's more joy in heaven when one sinner converts than ninety-nine just men. And I often wondered about that ninety-nine just men. Well, you see, uh, all them angels and everything, uh, they rejoice over them ninety-nine. Uh, uh, just the same as, uh, and they continually rejoice in another one. Uh, but the difference is they added another one. They've added another one. Right. And I'll tell you today, God adds to the church we don't have. Uh, I, 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 we can see them in this little church today. And that's all we can do. We can give them a, a, a fellowship with us today. Uh, and if they got fellowship with Jesus, they got fellowship with us today. <laughs> that man told me to go and walk, and I did. And I come back and I can see. Oh, and one of them old Pharisees told me, like I said, they were the tough day. That man the center anyhow. What's he doing out here? I, 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 I was going to work on the Lord's Day today. What's he doing out here curing people on the Lord's Day? If he was a man of God, he wouldn't be out there today. And they asked the man, he said, tell us one more time. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I, I, like, I like the way he did. He told Brother Sandy one more time. Exactly, exactly like it was. He said, I went out there uh, and I washed my eyes. First of all, he told me to go. And he 
and wash my I wash my eyes. I, I wash that spittle off my eyes. I, I, but but you see, I, I then when I came back, I come here, and you know, he said, now nah, I'm going to tell you. He said that, that he called me to do that, and I've done it today. And you know. Uh, and, and they uh, they wanted another witness that, that bus did. Uh, they wanted somebody else uh, to collaborate what he said there. Uh, and you know, uh, they sat and got his parents. Of course, the Bible tells us that uh, his parents were all they were going to say. And they began to question his parents. Uh, and they asked him, uh, Is this your son? Uh, yeah, this is my son. And was he born blind? Yeah, he was born blind. From the day he was born, he's been blind all of his life. Yeah, and this is my son today. Uh, but how did he get that way? And you know, they'd already told him. Now, if you speak good about this man named Jesus, you're going to get kicked out of the synagogue. Uh, they didn't want to hear the name of Jesus today. And I can understand that, believe it or not. Because uh, uh, when you're in sin today, uh, the name of Jesus cuts you so bad. Oh, I tell you today. It, it's the name that, uh, uh, that you dread hearing today. Uh, because you know your situation. And uh, you know what kind of shape your life in. And you know the Bible says that they told him that. To answer the question. And then uh, 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 they asked him a question. They said, You go and ask him. Uh, yeah, you can ask him. Let him tell you. He's a lady. You see, and that, that, took, that took it off of them today. They didn't have to say, Yeah, that Jesus done it. But they said, He's a lady. It happened to him. You go and talk to him. You let him tell you. And sure enough, they went back to him one more time. And they asked him the same question. And he began to tell them a little bit different story this time. Now I've already told you. You see, I've already told you today uh, uh, what happened to me. Uh, uh, and now, are you going to believe it if I tell you again? Uh, 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 and, and he says, you won't believe it if I tell you. Uh, that's me. They wouldn't believe it if you have told them a hundred times. And they said, well, now, you are all together with them. You see, they started degrading him. Uh, and I believe, I believe that he was saved in the arms of Jesus. Uh, and there it was, calling him a sinner to that day. Uh, 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 <laughs> you're all together a sinner. And you know, and they kicked him out of the synagogue. And you know, the Bible says later on, that man was out walking down the highway and he met a man. Oh, I tell you, he met a man. And that man began to talk to him today. Oh, who was he talking to? He didn't have any idea who he was talking to. He had met him, he had talked to him, but he was blind. He was blind. You see, when he come back from the pool of Salam, Jesus was already gone today. But he knew, he knew that and you know the Bible says it. And Jesus began to talk to him. And he asked him, Do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God? Oh, he said, uh, Do you believe on him today? Uh, he said, uh, Where is he that I may that I may give him honor and glory today? He was for yourself today. And you know what? We've all going to have the opportunity one of these days to see him eye to eye, face to face today. You know, we've already met him in the pardon and remission of our sin. We've, I've already met him in here today. He's here today, you see. And I can feel his presence in my life today. Uh, uh, you know, there have been times I've come in this church and I sat down uh, and I hadn't felt that sweet spirit. Now, I'll tell you, it doesn't take very long for that to get old in your life if you're a Christian, not to be able to feel that spirit touch your life. 
that's what re, 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 uh, reinvigorates us up. I'll use that word. Uh, that, that's what gives us, uh, uh, builds our hope, our strength today. Yeah. And that's our food today. That sweet spirit is our food today. And you know, when Jesus told him, well, you're talking to him. Now I can do that. I'd like to see that man. I'd like to see his face and, and, and all and how he how he handled that today. Uh, but Jesus says it's him that you're talking to today. He finally got to meet Jesus uh, uh, face to face. Uh, and one of these days, one of these days, when that cloud of glory opens up and we get on that cloud of your glory, who's going to be there? We're finally going to see Jesus. Face to face. Yeah. Face to face today. Oh, what a wonderful time that will be. Oh, what a wonderful day. Uh, uh, when we can all uh, 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 get together in heaven today. And you know, I know uh, that when we get there, uh, uh, we're not going to be husbands and wives, but we're going to be, uh, uh, we're all going to be the children of God. Uh, uh, our brother today, uh, uh, our brother, uh, sister Margaret, uh, uh, won't be a, a grandmother or, or a mother, uh, but she'll be uh, our sister in Christ today. And that's the way I, I read that today. That's the way that I believe that, that the Bible uh, uh, teaches me today. But we're all going to be, we're all going to be equal. No big eyes and little ears today. We're all going to be God's children. God, no bigger than no, 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 no more important than the other. Uh, uh, and and uh, I think we'll be as the angels are today. I, that's the way I see it today. We'll be as the angels are today. And, and we'll have the opportunity to see Jesus, uh, to talk to Jesus, and behold, and behold, uh, live in heaven with him forever today. So today, I've got, I've got a great hope in my life that I'll be among that number, like Brother Brian mentioned it a while ago. Come in, thou good and faithful servant. Lord, what, a, what, what an invitation that will be in our lives today. Come in, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. And like Brother Brian told you, we, it, it, you know, it, he didn't say we had to be perfect to that. If we had to be perfect, none of us would go. Because in this life now, we're not going to be perfect. But in that day, Brother Tommy, in that day, we'll be as perfect as you can be. We'll be as Jesus today. So these few words, you know, sit down with one of these other brothers. God bless you.